Studio. What's up everybody? Welcome to another ECM Vision Studio painting video. I'm Eric. Um, I do have a show coming up, a group show, um, in the beginning of January. So I, I'm trying to get this painting done and a couple other works done for that show. So we'll be focusing on kind of some finishing touches and bringing some imagery out, maybe pushing some imagery back. Uh, but as always, just staying open and keeping it loose and see how it goes. So. Thanks for watching and let's get into the painting. Uh, so this painting is a multimedia painting in the sense that it uses um, spray paint different kinds of paint, uh, acrylic paint, and some of these paint markers, uh, paint pens. And so right here you can see that I'm painting the bricks to the surrounding tunnel and um, using acrylic paint on this section of the painting. Um, so when I, use, when I go for the finishing touches of painting, I like to use higher end acrylics, um, typically Golden brand, which is a really kind of the top notch acrylic paint uh, brand out there. And um, I just think that the finish and the paint quality is is uh, much higher. So to have that on the top layer is uh, really important. For the bottom layers, I use sometimes I'll use like anything from like house paint. Um, to um, more more cheaper just to get more cheaper paints just to get color down and um, get something going on the canvas So we move to the top portion of this painting here. And in this part of the painting here, um, we've got, it's a pretty open-ended area, um, opposed to the bottom where I had formulated hands that I'm keeping in the, in the tunnels and we we're finishing the bricks. This area is pretty open. So right now I'm palette knifing paint and my objective here is basically to just get paint down, um, keep it very loose, keep it abstract, and let the paint do its own thing. So I'm um, palette knifing, I believe, titanium white and a combination of Mars black and deep turquoise. And um, with the darker color and the white color on the palette knife together and putting that on there and you could see the smearing that's happening and I really love the um, how the two colors or the two shades kind of blend um, randomly together while I'm using the palette knife. Um, yeah, there's no r s strong plan into how I want this section to look. Um, a lot of this is happening on the fly um, as, as I'm working on it. And I find that while I'm working, I like to allow my, I guess, inner voice or intuition to 
uh, have a louder say in what I'm doing than what my brain says. So what I mean by that is through the process of painting, um, I guess it's kind of hard to explain, but through the process, um, things will start coming up and um, it has as much to do with um, what I want to happen, but um, it very difficult to explain but it's sort of an integration of the physicality of the movement of paint along with my own painting experience coming together at one time and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and it can be kind of risky but right here I'm seeing what I just uh, have done with painting these bottles and the palette knife smearing and now I'm like I'm, I guess I'm having a I'm feeling the scene so I'm including these lines to give some more movement So now I'm filling in some areas with darker paint to give this area a little bit more depth um, before it was all pretty light and kind of on the same value uh, spectrum. So now I'm adding in some darker areas so when I go in on top of it, um, it'll have a little bit more of a base and a little bit more depth to the area. And this is the fun part. I use a spray bottle full of water and um, I spray it on there right after painting those sections. So now I get all these amazing drips happening. But mostly, not so much about the drips, but the texture that happens after it dries. Um, because there will be some small areas in between the dripping and the paint that is really interesting to me. And a lot of unpredictable. Uh, elements will show up. So I'm going to go in and just do some detail work. And you can see here an up close of what that looks like post the uh, spray bottle technique. And I'm just kind of putting in some shapes to fill out the concept um, of these kind of vice elements of um, alcohol bottles and some cigarettes and just keeping it loose, keeping it kind of abstract and not too concerned about making the rendering them too perfectly. So I'm going to go in with a larger brush and a lot of this paint is still wet so when I go through it um, it's using a lot of the paint that's already on the canvas and I think I loaded it up with um, some some of the white that's on my palette and now I'm creating more of a larger version of the smaller cigarette um, abstract abstracted images because I want to have sort of a, a micro macro thing happening smaller and larger versions just to give that area more depth and uh, I like to get physical with the painting so tapping it has gives a nice rhythm and uh, also 
just keeps keeps my painting style looser. I like to use marks that are unpredictable. Looking closer at the hands and we're going to start pulling out the, the hands. I want the hands, particularly the those thumb regions, to pop out more than where the palm, the fingers, and then the um, area above. Because I want to have a little bit of a sense of like depth of field here and my phone is going off. And um, I want to have a feeling of entering this, this zone between uh, where the thumbs are and then where the hands are. So you really feel like you're taking this visual uh, step into what the feeling of the hands being kind of swept up into this energy above it is. And I'm kind of doing some glazing here. So I've got the brush. I've loaded it up with some water and a little bit of paint and again utilizing the wet into wet uh, technique and so the water on the brush getting into the wet paint on the canvas with a little bit of paint on the brush um, will use some like atmospheric perspective and lighten up the hands. And then there's also a lot of accidental dripping that's going to happen and some good blending um, techniques here. So figuration um, using human body parts such as hands and feet and uh, the figure overall is relatively new for me in my painting practice something I kind of avoided for quite a while because I didn't feel confident with it but I've been jumping into it recently and this is a good example of sort of where I'm at with it and um, bringing it to a larger scale on this painting here which is 30 by 36 inches and um, yeah it's opening up a lot of new things for me and here I'm scraping into that abstract area sorry I didn't get a better shot of it and now I'm going to go in with the water and the spray paint coming up. And that combination, spray paint is nice because it gives a lot of interesting atmosphere to it and it'll look like it has a kind of glow to it. And it's just such an easy way to get that effect on here. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more of my work, check out my website, ecmvisionstudio.com. Uh, you can check me out on Instagram at ecm underscore vision. Both of those links are below in the description. And make sure to sign up for my email newsletter to stay updated with all kinds of things. Um, I run some really good deals on uh, prints and original artwork from time to time. Also, make sure to subscribe, and if you want, check out some of these other videos of mine. And uh, thanks for watching.